Hello, we are live. Boy, that was a quick intro there, wasn't it? Good morning, everybody. My Dickies cup here. Well, it's morning in Phoenix, Arizona. Anyway, hello, my name is Doug Schrift. I'm a physical therapist and senior fitness coach, and I help seniors become strong and stable, even if they've never exercised before. Welcome to my show. It's kind of turning into a show. Uh, where are we here? This is, uh, let's see, we are in, oh, it's our live stream for April 22nd. I can't believe it. I'm doing this for the whole month of April just to help seniors who are in their house and uh, have nothing to do. Stay in your house. That's a good idea to stay in your house during this pandemic here. Uh, so that's what it is today. And uh, let's see if we can check our peanut gallery to see who's here today. Uh, oh, Kenneth. Oh, 70 minute walk. Well, you're up early or it's not early where you are. <laughs> and uh, oh, Judith here. Good morning, Judith. County Durham. Oh, it sounds beautiful. And Judith is part of our Elder Jim Academy there. Getting more more tender loving over at the academy and Badia. Good morning, Badia. Carolyn, and the birds are singing in London. Oh my goodness. It's not raining in London. I can't believe it. And Janice here from Chile, Ohio. <laughs> Chile in Ohio. Sue, good morning from South London. Oh, we got a lot of Londoners. I think it's because it's not morning in London. That's probably why. And uh, Yehuda from Israel. Welcome. Oh, our first Israel. Boy, we are from all over the world here. <laughs> Layla, good morning. And Lizalette, good morning from Toronto. It looks sunny. Good. We hope it's sunny out. Good. And good morning, Anne from France. Oh, my goodness. We're from all over the place. Joe, good morning, Joe. He's ready to go. Solitender, good morning. From India, nice. And Marilyn from uh, oh Northeast Missouri. There we go. Probably chilly there, I'll bet. And you, international get together. Yes, it is kind of an international get together here for exercise. I am honored. I am really honored to have all you guys here. It is so fun. Uh, what are we doing today? Uh, today, we're doing upper body work. So you'll definitely need some weights. I recommend like, uh, you know, two pound weight for women, three pound, five pound for men. I think today, I'm feeling good. I'm going to use a five pound. Now, when we use weights uh, with Elder Gym, we don't do any bulking. And that is for the gym and get a personal trainer. We do more light weights, endurance. So you get strength, but you get muscular endurance. So we use lighter weights. Um, I don't really count. We just do a time. I, what we're, today, we're going to do 10 exercises for the upper body. I'll show you 10, uh, a lot of them from the chair, and then we'll, I'll do the second 10 same exercises, I'll do them from the ground, a little bit more advanced. So as always, you want to modify and then progress. And that's how we get stronger. So let me get that out of there and let's get to it. Now, as everybody knows, I am the chief cook and bottle washer here. This is like a television program I got going on here. So I do the mics, I do the lights, uh, I do the marketing. I do the acting, it's kind of crazy. I need some help. And then I go to work during the day. I can't believe it. So let me turn my camera around here. There it is. This is my little studio where I record uh, all my exercises for the academy. Take another drink. And let's see, let's grab some weights. I'm gonna grab a I'm going to do five pounds today. <clears throat> I got those. So we've got our chair. Turn on my little clock here so I know what time it is. And I'll put the weights down here. Well, let's start with a little warm-up first. I think everybody's ready for some warming up all around the world. Oh, my goodness. I am so grateful for all you guys joining us here on the academy. So just lift those knees up 
and breathe. It's a little later work out there in Europe, but at least you're working out. <laughs> Here we go. Ribs are lifted. And let's just bring those arms in front of your body, right over left and left over right. There we go. Breathe and step. Breathe and step. Good. It's always good to breathe. There we go. And three, two, one. Now let's just lift the arms up and bring your heel to your buttocks. Alternating heels, one at a time. Good. So glad to see you guys here today. And we have a lot more that don't comment. So I think usually we've been getting about 40 or 50 people tuning in live. And then the rest, eh, whenever it's done, whenever you wake up. Here we go, up and up, up and up. And three, two, one. All right, ragdoll arms, just roll them over in front of you. Just loosen them up. There we go. All right. Now bring your left arm up and stretch out that chest and your upper back. And bring up your other one. Stretch that out. And we'll go back and forth a couple times. One more time here on this side. And one more time on the other side. Stretch it out. Excellent. Let's pull some imaginary rope. This is your time to do some mime. Pull that rope in. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Start thinking about your core. Keep a nice tight core. We had a nice core workout yesterday. If you want a nice core workout, then just check out yesterday's program. Breathe, pull, and three, two, one. We're gonna go into a side reach. Reach to the side, to the walls. Now this one's a really good exercise to start thinking about your core, because as you move side to side, you can kind of feel all the fibers working and your stomach muscles there. And three, two, one. Let's try a, uh, let's see, let's do a, a uh, kettlebell. So put your fingers together just like that. I had trouble thinking of that word. Right between your knees and lift it straight up, straight up. Loosening up the upper arms. And that's why we warm up, to warm up our muscles, loosen up the joints, raise our heart rate, and raise our body temperature. And three, two, one. All right, let's stick them. Bring out your left foot right on the heel. And bring your toe back toward your body. And just do some light pulses. Little light pulses, just like that. There we go, loosen up the hips a little bit and switch to the other side. Step right on your heel and just do some light pulses straight back, good. Just like that. Breathe. You always forget to breathe, don't you? Here we go, and we'll do some circles. Let's see, let's pick a, pick a direction, Doug, here we go. <laughs> let's try this direction here. And just loosen up your hips a little bit. Loosen them up. Breathe. Breathe. All right, let's see if we can stretch our back out so hands are on the knees. And just round your back out, nice and round. And down. Inhale. And exhale, and round your back out. Good. And down, one more time, breath in. Exhale, round your back out, stretch it out for three, two, one. Oh boy, are you guys warmed up? I think I'm warmed up, here we go. So we're gonna do 10 exercises. So grab some weights, you can grab a two to five pound weight. I've got some five pound weights here. What we're gonna do is let's use the chair for this one. So grab your chair. Now you're going to sit on the very edge of the chair and lay back like you're going to take a nap. 
Hold those weights in your hands. We're going to open and close the chest. Elbows are a little bent. Core is tight. And these are just flies. If it's too heavy with the weight, then just use a lighter weight. And breathe. Just open and close. There we go. Open and close. This is definitely working the chest. Definitely working the chest. Here we go. And three, two, one, relax. Now we're gonna work the other side. So still sitting in the chair, I'm gonna to go to the edge of the chair, I'm gonna lean over, and I'm gonna pull up the other way. So we're working the opposite direction. In fact, it's called a reverse fly. The arms are, my elbows are just slightly bent. My back is as straight as I can get it. I'm breathing in through my nose, filling my lungs with air. That's it. Just back and forth and lift. Good. Good upper body workout. This is definitely working your back. And I'm not counting. Here we go. Let's pull up. If you need to take a break, take a little break. 10 seconds. Here we go. Pull it up. Pull it up. Good. And three, two, one. Relax. Let me show you this next one sideways. You're going to be sitting in your chair. Put one weight down. Hold on to the other weight just like that. I'm going to sit in the chair like I'm falling asleep. Reach overhead and stretch it out and back to your belly button. This is an overhead pull. Core is nice and tight. Pull it over your head. Good. Just pull it over. There we go. Nice and tight core. When you get to the top, gravity just pulls it back. Either end, gravity will pull it that way and gravity pulls it that way. So nice and controlled. There we go. Back and forth, we're not counting. 10 seconds. Back and forth, good. And three, two, one. And I'm gonna put those down. Next one, oh, let's do some side races. This one here, I'm actually going to lower the weight a little bit. I'm gonna to go to a three pound weight for this one because what we're gonna do is stand with our feet about hip width apart and we're just gonna bring our arms straight up to the side like that. You don't wanna hold weight too heavy when we lift our arms away from our body. So I'm going with a little lighter weight. You can use a one pound or two pound or even nothing, just the weight of your arms doing this will get you tired. Here we go, let's bring it up. Keep breathing. Breathe in that nice sunny French air or English air. Can you believe I have never been to Europe? 64 years old. I've been to South America. That's about it. And once to Canada. Shame on me, huh? <laughs> Here we go. And three, two, one, relax. All right, actually, I'm going to stick with these lighter three pound weights. And I'm going to do a standing tricep. So what we're going to do is hold on to the weights, lift your arms over your head. Let me get back so you can see me. Now just bring your arms back and up. Feet or shoulder or hip width apart. Try to keep your elbows up towards the ceiling. And we're just bending and straightening our elbows. Keep your elbows nice and high. Breathe. We're working on our tricep muscles. There we go. Now, if you have shoulder pain, this might be a little difficult. So you can lose the weights and just use your arms and just try to bend and straighten your elbows as much as you can. Less than 10 seconds, you got it. And up and up, there we go. Three, two, one, and relax. Oh boy, roll those shoulders around a little bit. Oh, let's do some biceps. So I'm gonna go with some heavier weights here for the biceps. Go back to my five pound. Palms are forward, feet are, are hip width apart. Just bend and straighten your elbows, just like that. 
Boy, this is a total upper body workout we're doing here. Bend and straighten those elbows. Good. Up and down. Up and down. Excellent job. Good. Up and down. Try to get full range out of there. So you go all the way up and really straighten out those elbows all the way back. Nice full range. Here we go. Less than 10 seconds. And relax. All right, the next one we can try back in the chair. <clears throat> so I'm going to sit on the very edge of the chair. I'm going to lean over just like that. And I'm going to pull my elbows straight up towards the ceiling. Just pull your elbows straight up to the ceiling, just like that. Like there's a little string on your elbow, and it's just pulling your elbows right up to the ceiling. Good. Nice and controlled. Keep breathing. There we go. And this is a, I think we're going to hit every muscle in the upper body as I was writing these down last night. I said, let me do all the muscles. So you want to work all your major muscles generally. Here we go. 10 seconds. And keep pulling. And three, two, one. All right, we're going to do a chest press. Let me show you this sideways. So we're in the chair, sit on the very edge, just like you're falling asleep in the chair. And put the weights up to your shoulder. And just press straight out from your shoulder, just like that. Straight out. Just like that. Push it out. Push it out. Good. There's the sun coming through. Seems to be coming through earlier and earlier as we go through April. Keep breathing. Core is tight. We're not counting. We're just doing time based. So you don't want to have too heavy weights. Doing a lot of repetitions here. That's it. Straight out. Good. And 10 seconds. You got it. Push. Push. That's it. And three, two, one, and relax. What else we did? We did that. Ooh, let's do our kickbacks. I'm going to do some lighter weights for our kickbacks. I'm going to go to the three pound weight. So what I'm going to do is lean forward just like that. Back is straight. I'm going to bring the arms in the, as far back as I can. Feet are about hip width apart. Now I'm just going to bend and straighten my elbows, just like that. Bend and straighten, good. Bend and straighten, keep breathing. Working on our core, nice tight core, tight belly button. Here we go. Push back. We've done a lot of different exercises over this month. It's actually quite an exercise program. All right, less than 10 seconds. And three, two, one. All right, I'm going to switch to my heavier weights here. Go back to my five pound weights. We're going to do an overhead press. Feet are hip width apart. Bring your hands up into the rack position, which is about right at shoulder height. Now we're just going to lift straight up and straight down. Lift straight up and straight down. Good. Getting the bright light here. So you can see me. Nice tight core. Keep breathing. There we go. We are exercising all around the world at the same time. I feel the connection. <laughs> I am so grateful. All you guys are here exercising with me this morning. Here we go. 10 seconds. Keep going. Push up. Push up. Push up. Good. You guys got it. Three, two, one, and done. Oh boy. Hey, we have to start from the beginning. So for the second half, I'm going to see if I can lose the chair here. And I'm going to go with a lighter weight this time. We're going to do our flies. So you're going to have to sit on the floor somehow. And let me get my mat here. 
I'm going to lay down on my mat so you can go back on the floor on the chair. If the chair is more comfortable, I'm just going to show the more advanced version here now and we'll be on the ground. So a little bit more gravity down here. The chair, we're about 30 degrees. Now we're fully flat. So we have the full effects of the earth pulling our arms back. 10 seconds. Here we go. Up and up. Good. Nice and controlled. And three, two, one. If that's too hard, you can go back to your chair. Now we're going to do the reverse. So we're going to stand for this one. And what I'm going to do is bend forward from the hips. Feet are about hip width apart. And I'm just going to bring those arms straight up into a reverse fly, just like that. We're going to do a, do a little getting down and up off the ground on this one. If it's too hard to get on the ground, then just use the chair like we did in the last one. Here we go. Breathe. Breathe. Here's, here's what it looks like from the side. Try to keep your back straight. Head is in line with your spine. Core tight. Belly button to spine. And you're breathing. 10 seconds. Here we go. You can do it. Pull up. Full body, upper body workout here. Here we go. Three, two, one. And relax. All right. Let's do a, ooh, let's do our pullover back on the ground. So grab one weight, hold on to it just like that. You're going to lay down on your yoga mat, or you can get in the chair like you did last time. We're going to do an overhead pull just like that. A little bit harder on the ground because we are flat and gravity is pulling that weight in either direction. As high as you can get your shoulder, if you have a lot of shoulder pain, then just come up to your head about that. Distance there if you can, stretch those shoulders back. If you have just general shoulder tightness, 10 seconds, then this should really loosen up your shoulders, get them moving again. Let's do two more. Here's one and two and up good. What do we got next? Well, we have our side raise. So I'm going to grab my lighter weights for this one. And I'm standing up nice and tall. Feet are about hip width apart. I'm just going to bring the arms straight up to the side, just like that. Keep breathing. Tight core. Good. So especially for the side raise, you don't want to have very heavy weights because as we get older, our shoulder gets more delicate and more afraid over the years from all your work. So if it feels a little stressed, then just drop the weights and use your arms for this exercise. Generally, you don't want anything too heavy. There we go. 10 seconds. You got it. Pull up. Good. Pull up. That's it. And three, two, one. Excellent job. Roll those shoulders around. Boy, I'm really feeling this. All right, with those weights, hold the weights over your head. Now what we're going to do is just bend and straighten your elbows. So keep your elbows nice and high as you do this. Keep breathing. Core is tight. And just, we're not counting. We're just doing a little time-based. If it's too heavy, then just drop the weights and use the weight of your natural God-given arms up and down. Here we go. That's it. Up and down. Push. Push through it. We're on the second part of this journey here. Push through it. Less than 10 seconds. Ooh, I'm feeling the burn. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh boy. Roll those shoulders around a little bit. Whew, I can feel that. I'm going to go to my little heavier weight for the rows. Now for the rows, what we're going to do is lean forward from the hips and your arms are straight ahead of you. And what you want to do is bring your elbows right to the ceiling, just like there's a little string 
pulling you up just like that. Good. Just pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Good. There we go. Keep going. We're not counting. We're just doing. Who likes counting anyway? Maybe the last three I'll count for you. Pull up, just like there's a string. Pulling those elbows right up. Nice and controlled. Keep your back flat. Less than 10 seconds. Here we go. And pull. Good. Three, two, one. Oh, boy. Let's work the other side of that muscle, our biceps. So feet are about hip width apart. Palms forward. Just bend and straighten your elbows. Just like that. And breathe. We're working on our Popeye muscles. Here we go. Breathe. Nice and controlled. And remember, try to straighten up the elbow right to the end. Nice full range of motion. Straighten it out. Nice and controlled. Up and down. Nice and controlled. Keep breathing. <clears throat> there we go. Ooh, I'm feeling this upper body workout. How about you? Good. Less than 10 seconds. Here we go. And three, two, one. Time to get down on the ground. If it's too hard to get onto your mat, then just go back onto the chair. We're going to do our chest press all the way down. Push straight up from your shoulders and back down. That's it. Straight up from the shoulder, straight up. Breathe. Feet are flat. Core is tight. You can even bring that low back flat against the ground. Really get some good posture going here. And look up at your ceiling. Look at all your cobwebs up there. Oh my goodness. Get the broom out. Here we go. You don't look at your ceiling very much, I'll bet. Here we go. That's it. Ten seconds. You got to breathe. Push. Pushing away from the earth, away from that gravity. Here we go. Push up. And push up. And three, two, one, and done. All right, what do we got? Oh, let's do some kickbacks. So I'm going to grab my lighter weights for this one. Try this. I'll face this way this time. Feet are about hip width apart. Now stretch your arms back as far as you can. Then you're just going to bend and straighten your elbow. Good. Back is flat. Head is in line with your spine. Core is tight. Belly button against spine. Breathe nice and deep. Nice and controlled. Just bring that weight back. Boy, you guys are going to be so fit after this month. I'm so fit after this month. There we go. Push it back. Good. And 10 seconds. You got it. Hang in there. Two more exercises after this, or maybe you know, one more. Here we go. Where's my math? All right. Let's try our overhead press. Last one. I'm going to grab my heavier weights for this. I'm going to use five pounds. Bring your arms up into the rack position. Now just push it straight up overhead. Just straight up, just like that. There we go. Push it up. Good. Breathe. Straight up. Straight up. That's it. This is our last exercise, and then we'll cool down. Push straight up. Breathe. Nice tight core. Good. Boy, this is quite a workout. Now, if you didn't have any weights, hopefully you had a soup can or some water bottles or even just hold on to your shoes. Ten seconds. Here we go. You got it. Push. And push. And three, two, one. And done. Oh, my goodness. We worked through the whole upper body. I think we did every muscle in the upper body. All right. Let's cool down. Take a breath in. All the way up. And exhale. That's it. Breath in. All the way up. Exhale. Now drop that left arm down. Stretch out your right side. 
You guys did great today. I can see you there. All of our London people. We got France. We've got everywhere there. And back. Take another breath in. Now drop your right arm down. Stretch out that left side. Good. It's always good to cool down a little bit. Just like that. 10 seconds. And three, two, one, back to normal. Let's see if we can lift our left hand up, palm is up. Now tap yourself on the shoulder and bring that elbow back. Just like that, stretch it back a little bit. There we go. Stretch it back. Good. And bring it across your body. Pull it back a little bit. And wrist circles. Good. Keep breathing. And let's try the other side. Bring up your right hand, palm up. Tap yourself on the shoulder. And bring that elbow back. Breathe. There we go. And stretch it out across your body. Bring that elbow back. Wrist circles. Good. Settling down. All right, hands on your hips. Now look over your left shoulder. Look at the back wall. Try to keep your hips facing forward. And breathe. Stretch out that torso. And let's look at the other side. Look over your right shoulder. Keep your hips forward. Rotate that torso. Breathe. It's a sunny day here in Phoenix. It's usually sunny in here in Phoenix. Sun right on my face. That's why I moved here. And look up at the ceiling. Let's do a farmer stretch. Shoulders back. Arch your back. Stretch it out. And one more time each side. Look over your left shoulder. Keep your hips forward. Stretch out your torso. Other side. Stretch it out. Back to center. Extend your left foot out right on the heel. Bring your toes back toward your body and just flex from the hips. So bend right at the hips toward your toes and stretch out your hamstring and your calf. Good. And breathe. Remember to breathe. Here we go. And let's switch up. We'll try the other foot. Bring out your right foot right on the heel. Bring your toe back toward your body and bend from the hip nice and straight. Keep that core tight. Get a nice deep stretch in our calf and our hamstring. Breathe. There we go. 10 seconds. We're really stretching it out. Get a nice deep stretch. And three, two, one. Let's head over to the wall or grab a chair and hold on to your outside ankle. And just bring your knee, point your knee toward the ground. There we go. Get a nice deep stretch in our thigh. Breathe. Breathe. It's good to breathe. Here we go. 10 seconds. Nice deep stretch. And three, two, one. Other side. We are almost done. One more side of the body. See if you can get that knee pointing towards the ground if you can. Breathe. Nice and tall. Excellent workout today. Working out the whole upper body. I think we did every muscle. There we go. Less than 10 seconds. Nice deep stretch here. And three, two, one, and done. Excellent job, everybody. Come back over here. Put on my glasses. A little drink of water. Oh, let's see if I can get my screen back. Boy, if I only had a studio engineer, this would be a lot smoother, wouldn't it?
There I am. Hey, look at that sunshine coming through. All right, let's get that out of the way. And that was it. You guys did a upper body. I think we work on just about every muscle up in that upper body. So good job. Let's check back with our peanut gallery, see how everybody's doing. Uh, let's see. Oh, Diane, it was freezing in Pennsylvania. Sorry about that. Hazel, just joined the Academy from the UK. Oh, welcome, Hazel. Yay, another member. Thanks for coming. We'll give you a lot of loving care in the Academy. Thanks for coming here. Gear, good morning. Oh, Gear's back from Holland. Uh, yes, and Vivian from France. Oh, I love France. I have to go there someday. I am just a very boring guy. They call me, they call me Simple Doug. <laughs> I never go anywhere. Uh, the UK, oh boy, all our UK, we have to start. Actually, if you join the Academy, I do have a UK fan club on there. Uh, Barbara, it's Colorado. Gare, oh. oh, the holy smoke, we're ready for the Highland Games in Scotland. Oh my goodness, that sounds so fun. One day I'll get there, here we go. And Sue, oh thanks, she did all her exercises, excellent. Yeah, if you don't have any weights, you know, you can just use the weight of your hand, you can use uh, anything in your house, really, cans of soup. Um, thanks from Vivian, Kenneth, oh, Pensacola, nice. And you have another great workout, thanks, Doug. Uh, great, you guys did super today for our workout. Uh, what do we have for you guys tomorrow? Uh, let's see, we did upper body. Oh, uh, tomorrow we're gonna take it easy, we're gonna do some posture exercises which can be a little hard, but um, it's always good as you get older to address your posture. As my wife always says, Doug, stand up straight, because it really does get harder to hold the shoulders back as you, as you get older. I really have to think about it quite often during the day. And tomorrow, I'm gonna remind you to keep your shoulders back. So tomorrow we'll do some posture exercises, and that will be fun. Uh, what are we on here? What day is this? This is 22nd, so that'll be the 23rd. And I'm doing this every day for April, so we'll have like seven days left. And Audrey's gonna come back on the last day, which is a week from Thursday to do, uh, she'll do a little more yoga for us on our last day. We'll end up with a little nice stretching yoga. Uh, that's pretty much it. And, um, oh, Monica, it's freezing in PA. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's kind of where I'm from. I'm from the East Coast, and I moved to get this sunshine here. because That's why I like sunshine. So a lot of sun here. Thanks a lot, guys. It's so fun. I'm so grateful. I'm humbled that all you guys are here uh, watching uh, our live stream. And we're all home. Everybody's home. Except I do go to work during the day at the hospital. But uh, I'm home in the morning. So I'll have to take a shower and get to the hospital there. Put on my mask. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so definitely thank a healthcare worker. If you know any healthcare workers, it's very stressful there. You know, we have a lot of COVID people. We have the dedicated areas of the hospital just for COVID. You know, I have to gown up when I go in there. I hope I don't get it because I'm on the older end here. So, uh, but I do see COVID patients uh, at the hospital. So it's, it's, uh, it's all around the world. So stay home. And that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>